Hey guys, I'm Satorial Phil. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a more detailed view of the Monat item I got from my recent Paris haul from the fall to 2018. And I'll link the video to the description if you want to take a look at that haul as well. So I have the box here and the dust bag. And I've already revealed or unboxed this in that video I was talking about. This is the Limousine 20. It's one of their newer items. It's a hard sided piece. It also comes in a size 10, which is looks more like a cube. There's a 30, which is longer and a bit taller and wider as well. And then when it goes to size 40, it comes with a handle. So it's considered a briefcase. And I think it goes to a 50 and a 60, but by that point, it's really more of a luggage than it is a briefcase. This item is 5,900 euros and USD is 7,200. And I purchased this from the flagship in Paris on Saint-Honoré. And then this is just to quickly show you. So this was the receipt and it has a reference number, the description, the price, as I was saying, is 5,900 euros and it's $7,200 USD. This color is ebony. And I think they call the leather a satin calf leather. The metal hardware is a gold toned hardware. And then there's these metal things here, which are for the shoulder strap. And the signature design of this is that curved base. You can see on the bottom how it's curved. And this is a signature design element that's really taken from their archives because they used to make trunks with curved bases so that they could go on top of cars and limousines and it won't wobble. So it was definitely meant for the wealthy. And on the right side, there is a plaque. And at first, when I looked at it in the pictures, I thought it made it look like a humidor because it looked like a vent. But it's actually the word Moynat. And it's founded in 1849 which is actually older than Louis Vuitton. It's not technically owned by LVMH, but it's part of the family through the investments of one of the, the owners. And you may notice that these nails are a lot closer together than other ones that you've seen because they use, I think, almost twice as much in terms of the nails because they're more tightly spaced together. I mean, it's probably not necessary because people probably aren't going to bang this around, but it does add to the, the look of it. And of course, it means it's more craftsmanship and workmanship in the item. It does add a more design detail to it, which I like. So I haven't taken these. There's some plastic wrap on this part and this part. I haven't taken it off yet, but you can see the lock here. Kind of similar to the hard sided cases with Louis Vuitton, the S lock. So you push this over and then it opens like that. So you can just open the lid and then it has Moynat Paris here. On the other side, there isn't a plaque, so it's just kind of plain. And the bottom also, there's no extra plaques or anything, but you do see all of the nail details on the bottom. Whereas on top, you only see it on the sides. So the inside right now, I have the leather strap, which I'm going to show you. I'm going to put it on for you. And this box, because, because it's not hinged, it doesn't stay open. You could probably stretch the leather out, but I don't think you would really want to do that. And the inside leather is like their signature orange color. It's in a more, it's a deeper orange than Hermes. It's like a darker orange. And then here is the plaque or the tag Moynat Paris made in France. And it's actually made pretty close to Paris. Their workshop is pretty close. I, it might even be considered in Paris or just right outside of it. And then this is the certificate card. And it's pretty much the same as all of their other items. So I kind of wish it was a little bit more special, but it's the standard one that they provide with their other items. And there's no zippered compartments or anything. There are just these two flaps. You could put like some cards there or some papers there, but honestly, it's more of a decoration than it is really that practical. 
but I do like that they include it in it because I do like that contrast and they're using the same leather as the outside, which is a really high quality leather. The, it's extremely smooth. So this is called the 20 because it has to do with the size of the width. So you can see that it's about 20 centimeters wide. And then the height is at the tallest, it's about eight centimeters. And then at the shortest, which is right in the middle, it's about six centimeters. So it's about a two centimeter height here at the highest point of the curve. And then in terms of the depth, this mini trunk does stand on its side like this, although I wouldn't recommend it because it could easily fall if someone if someone shook the surface that it was on, but it is, I mean, it's wide enough that it's not gonna just tip over by itself. Here's an iPad mini, and it's actually pretty close to the same size, but the trunk is a bit taller when you stand it up like this. Because this is made out of wood, it's poplar wood. The things I would usually keep in a small bag like this, my essentials are my phone, wallet, and keys. So I have a iPhone 10. And for a size comparison, you can see that it definitely fits inside. This is an iPhone 10 because, I mean, we're on our phones all day, pretty much. Even though it fits, I probably wouldn't put my phone in here because I need to access it a lot. But maybe sometimes if I, if I really don't have pockets and I'm not gonna use my phone for a while, I, I could put it in here. So I do like to have that option because it's definitely something I need to bring with me. It doesn't fit lengthwise though, so you can see here I put it, it's not gonna close. So your iPhone most likely is only gonna fit widthwise. So before I put this in here, I have my wallet, my Louis Vuitton card case. Keys for this specific one, since it's lined in leather, I probably would put it in a pouch first before I would I would actually put it in because the keys, you know, when it moves around, it's definitely gonna scratch the leather, but you can see there, closes fine. And then of course, my phone would fit as well. So those are my essentials. There's definitely more room. Something like lip balm, I could put in there as well. And because the phone is so large, if I take that out, the last thing I want to show you before I go to the try-on video, or the try-on portion, is the leather strap. It's a pretty simple leather strap. The mechanism is pretty simple. So all you do is you, you're going to slide it through. So you slide it through here. And then there are three adjustment holes, but, but this leather strap is kind of short in my opinion. I wish it was just a little bit longer. So I use the longest setting on both sides. We just put it through like that. And the leather does start to get soft the more you do this. Even though this is a nicer display item without the strap, I'll probably keep the strap on even when I'm not using it, but I'll just put it to the back because I don't want to keep going through that adjustment because eventually it's gonna become so loose that it might not fit or it might just fall out of this, this slot right here. So it just goes in like that and there are these leather keepers on both sides. If you watch my Gucci Globetrotter video, that was my main complaint that they didn't keep, that they didn't include this leather keeper so that this doesn't flap around once you have it in. So just like that, the leather shoulder strap is now on it. It's in the same exact leather. It does get a little bit wider. You can see here, it does get a little bit wider and it actually prevents this leather keeper from moving up the leather strap, which is a good decision on their part. It's really just a single piece plus the leather keeper. I like that it's a sleek design and there's not many moving parts like they didn't add another ring here and then have the leather stitch onto it. It's just pretty much one single solid piece of leather. The shoulder 
I think they call it the shoulder drop. So when I pull it back, it's about 46 centimeters. And again, this is the longest adjustment, which is about 18 inches. So like I was saying, what I would do when I would want to store this is I'm going to push it. I'm going to kind of turn it on the other side and then I'll just keep the strap in the back like that when I'm not using it. Because honestly, I think this looks really nice as a display item. But I like that it's practical because you can wear it out as a bag. And now I'm going to show you how this looks like on with a few different outfits and a few different way of carrying it. You can carry it like a clutch without the leather strap. You can carry it with this side facing you, which actually feels pretty comfortable. The curve kind of hugs your body. So even though it's a rigid piece, it actually feels pretty comfortable. You can also turn it on the other way, which makes a really unique shape that you're definitely not going to see with any other bag. So it it truly makes it kind of a one of a kind.
And that's my video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos and check out my page on Instagram for the latest updates and exclusive content. And I hope to see you in my next video. If you follow me on Instagram, you're definitely going to see a lot more shots of this one. It's not definitely not going to be my everyday bag because the leather is delicate.